Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who've been paying attention to my Instagram, ADS Play 101, also World Warriors Collective was just a separate one for my clothes and all of that. I want to just go and throw that shameless plug in there. We're here to another gathering at the video of my creation. ADS Play 101 started on ADS Play 101 carry it over to here. This is his own real taste test. I struggled so hard to come up with that intro, and you can tell I did. I am terrible. Anyway, <laughs> Pop-Tarts revealed they had a new pretzel line of uh, Pop-Tarts. Now, me personally, I don't like Pop-Tarts at all. I think they're disgusting. I do. I mean, I don't eat them anymore. I stopped eating Pop-Tarts like... I'm 30, man. I, I stopped eating Pop-Tarts at like... Man, like 22 or something. 22, at least 22 years old, like, probably even before that, for as long as I can remember, I have not touched a Pop-Tart, I, I, I don't like them, I don't like them anymore, but, on my Instagram, ADSplay101, I posted a picture of, of these, it was the cinnamon sugar, and they also had, uh, the chocolate, and I'm gonna explain why I got this one and not the chocolate in, in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I posted a picture of both of them on my Instagram and I asked Would you like to see me do a taste test review of these and the response came back people wanted to see me uh, They didn't give me a specific flavor that they wanted me to try so my original intention was going to try both of them but You know after being somebody who reads the back of ingredients for like a number of years I'm talking about for like at least over a decade if not in nearly a decade, I just developed a habit of reading the back of, you know, the ingredients and seeing what's in what I'm eating, you know, just as just just, just to be more conscious of what I'm putting in my body, you know. What I'm saying I'm one of them people, you know, not self righteous with it like a lot of you know vegans. You know, I'm talking to y'all, but you know, I'm just um, you know, I uh, I just do it as a habit because there's certain ingredients that I just don't want in my body after reading up on them and seeing what they do to you I don't, I'm, I'm good um, and then realizing that other countries ban these ingredients that America's still using and getting away with using you know that's neither here nor there but I decided to go with just the cinnamon sugar um, I'm going to matter, matter of fact in these next two clips I'm going to put the pictures of the ingredients from the back of each box. The first one is gonna be the chocolate, the second one is gonna be the, the cinnamon sugar. Now as you can see, the, the chocolate one had like several more ingredients than the cinnamon sugar one did. Um, because they both have like, I, I think this one got, no, the chocolate one had hot fructose corn syrup in it and like a bunch of other, this one got it too, I gotta watch out for that because it makes you sleepy, like that stuff right there is not good for you at all, you know, despite that little propaganda campaign from the early 2000s, it's about sugar is sugar, y'all remember that bullshit, yeah, they dropped them campaigns real quick once they figured out people wasn't stupid. But yeah, your body know the difference between fucking artificial sugar and real sugar. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, um, but yeah, I decided I was going to, you know, you know, try them out. Haven't had Pop-Tarts in forever. And plus, it's, it's a new line of Pop-Tarts, you know. It's new. So, uh, and I was actually curious. And I know a lot of people want to know what they taste like and but before they buy them themselves. See, that's why you got me. See, I got, I got the money to do these things. And I just, you know, said, fuck it. Let me go ahead and try them out for the... For you, the people. I'm not copying him. If y'all seen that food review, but I'm just, you know, seen that channel. It's a guy that always says that. Like, he always goes to, like, like I don't know if he goes, like, the Dollar Tree and he tries the food there. And he shows which products are, like, ripoffs. So some of y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't watched him in a minute, so I can't give you the name. Um, but y'all know who I'm talking about. But never, that's not the hint or there. Let's crack this open and see, uh, see what we're working with. These are actually expiring uh, this year, October. So we got one good, got a few, a few months before these go bad. So we, we're in a good space. As soon as you open these, let's see. 
as soon as you open these, of course there's a, like the cardboard smell, but there's also the smell of some sweet goodness in one of these, as good as they can be. Find me, so give me a minute, let me open this up. All right, so here it is. This is the pretzel cinnamon sugar Pop-Tart. This one's kind of like stuck in here. It looks like a toaster strudel. It looks like a toaster strudel. Icing and all that. Cheers. It does smell great. I'm not even gonna front. Hold up, man. Hold on up, Pop-Tart. Y'all could be on to something. I know I, I know I don't I'm not, I'm not in the high fructose corn syrup and all that. Hold on. Hold on one second. I probably spoke too soon. I know they're not good for you, but you know, every now and then one must indulge. Have I found a new guilty pleasure? Hold on. Hey, if they if, if this they really need to make candles with these type of scents. Because this is hey, this smell kind of see, I'm almost mad I didn't get the chocolate one now. This smell good as fuck, bruh. I'm not even trying to act at all different. Y'all know that's not my game. I don't I don't overreact. So you notice it's coming from a genuine place when I tell you this smells. This smells fucking fantastic. You smell the pretzel, but you smell the cinnamon sugar on it too. Let me go ahead and taste this before I lose my mind. Dog. In my boosy voice. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. They own us something. Hold on. Uh, Pop Tarts. Let me holler at y'all for a minute. Man. Pretzel, toaster pastry. I don't know if that's made out of real pretzel bread or not, but it definitely has a smell of pretzel. And another thing I like about it is that it's not a big amount of filling like you would, it's less filling in it than you would get with like a regular pop tart. So that's a good thing. Because you, like, you still get the intense flavor of the filling, but it's not so much of it to where like it, it overpowers like the the uh, the outer pastry this shit good as hell I'm not even joking bro this is actually good they actually did a good fucking job on this shit and y'all know I barely give high praises like oh, oh, mm. bro this is they did a good fucking job with this shit I'm not even lying. They actually did a good fucking job with this shit. Now, I will say this. Over the course of several weeks, I will be finishing off this entire box. Because at first I thought, I told myself, I don't really fuck with the ingredients like that. I'm probably just going to eat one and just... You know, ask the roommates if they would like to like the rest of them because they don't mind eating pop tarts and all that. But hold on, man, man, I probably smoke too soon. I might want to hold on to these to myself. So hold on, I might not want to share these bad boys. I'm just saying, Bruh. they really did a good fucking job with these. You know, just for research, I probably should have got the damn chocolate ones too because they probably would have tasted fire. I don't know if the chocolate ones would have tasted as good as these. But man, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. the smell is fantastic. The taste is fantastic. You give the thumbs up. For those of you who don't know how I rate food, the way I rate any type of food products or anything I try is a thumbs up. A sideways thumb or a thumbs down. This one gets a no contest, a no debate, excuse me, thumbs up. This gets a no debate thumbs up for me. I don't see how anybody can just, unless you can't enjoy it. You know what I mean? 
Now, again, I don't eat Pop-Tarts like that. I don't buy them that often. But if I were, this would definitely be the one to buy. I hope this ain't no limited time type of deal because y'all need to keep these motherfuckers on the shelves. I'm not even bullshitting you. Fuck them other Pop-Tarts and all that other shit. This one was made right. It has the right amount of ice icing on it. The right amount of filling in it. It's thin as hell. I wish I had, you know, I don't like making my videos long. If I would have thought ahead and I would have known it would have been like this, I probably would have threw a couple in a toaster or in the microwave just to see how it tastes and throw like other ones in like the frozen, well, uh, in, uh, in the freezer and uh, freeze them, see how that, you know what I mean? Like try them like that. But since I'm, I'm not willing to do all that for the sake of the video, because I just wanted to taste it as is. I'm going to let y'all buy them and let y'all do all that and you tell me how how much better they come out. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure if this came out warm, this would be just, bro, this whole box would be gone for, you know, in, in some of y'all opinions, some, the whole box would probably be gone by now. But they did a good fucking job with this. I'm not even lying. I'll finish this one off. Mm. Good fucking job, Pop-Tarts, man. That being said, man, Thank you guys for watching. As I said, over the course of several weeks, I'm going to finish this whole box off over the course of several weeks. Probably won't buy them again because, again, the ingredients is kind of like too much for my body at this point. Like, when you go without eating certain foods for like an extended period of time and you start eating them again, you can actually taste the ingredients in them. And some of the ingredients kind of got like kind of have like an off-putting taste as like As like cardboard and all that. Um, even though the ingredients may not have any cardboard relation or anything like that, uh, it just it, it gives off that that taste. You know what I mean? Because you, your body's been deprived of it for so long, when you finally eat it again, it's like it just hits you different. So, like I said, I probably won't buy pop tarts again after this. But for review, and to be fair, I mean if you like pop tarts you're gonna love these i don't see why you wouldn't love these i honestly can't they did a good fucking job with it so thank you pop tarts for doing these right <laughs> um somebody tell me about the chocolate ones if you ever get a chance to try them out uh, but with that being said man thank you guys for watching peace and i will see you guys next time for another azar reels taste test when i try things for the first time ever I'll give you my honest genuine opinion but that being said, remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but never show any mercy to food. Yeah.